Tonight, on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay heads to the historical Old Hitching Post in Hanson, Massachusetts. What a disaster. Where he faces off with an owner so stubborn. Fresh food doesn't taste better. Frozen. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. So delusional. It's an insult to America. And this area, that's what they love. He doesn't even realize he is the reason his restaurant is failing. Don't tell me that. Owner Tom bought the eatery for his daughter, Andrea. It's his way or no way. You really upset me a lot. But six years later, he refuses to let her run it. I can do this. You're not ready to take over. What? Instead, he remains a control freak. Quiet. Don't never do that. And while the food is inedible. Look at it. And always frozen. Disgusting. Tom is far from concerned. There's nothing wrong with that. Come on. Chef Ramsay is thoroughly frustrated. You are such a and fucking blockhead. And no matter what he says. Why don't you just admit that it's wrong? It's not wrong. Tom refuses to listen. I don't care who you are, Ramsay or no Ramsay. It's fight time in Hanson, Mass. I'll get in the ring and fight you every fucking day. But this may be a battle Chef Ramsay is unable to win. I'm going to keep fighting. You know I'm going to do that. What is that? You're serving rotten fruit. You can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Thank you, Chef. Hanson, Massachusetts, a tightly knit community just 25 miles outside of Boston. In 2005, restaurateur Tom Caceres bought one of the fixtures of the town, a beloved restaurant called the Old Hitching Post. My first restaurants, they were very successful. And then I wanted to own another one to pass it over to my oldest daughter. She wanted to become a restaurant owner like her father. Good afternoon, Old Hitching Post. Running and owning my own restaurant has always been my dream. So I was extremely excited when we came to the old hitching post. Right this way, please. But even though my dad bought this place for me, my father does have the final say. What did you do? I've been working in the kitchen. What no, did you do? No, what did I told you? You gotta make sure water comes Janice in. is in the front. But I want you to be there too. Well, why don't you go? Because no, you. My daughter, as good as she is, she doesn't know what it takes to run a big restaurant like this. Let's say I will leave tomorrow. My daughter it will last three months. And that's the very truth. Tom will say Andrea doesn't know how to pay the bills. Andrea doesn't know what she needs for cash flow. Key point missing. Tom doesn't allow her to be a part of that. He thinks he's the only one that could run the restaurant and not anyone else. Andrea, if you're doing what I tell you, make sure your customer. Dad. Check. Relax. Right now. Relax. Tom runs his business like it's a small country he owns. The beef tips, people don't love them. Don't tell me that. My father makes people crazy. Do you do that all the time behind my back without me knowing? To him, the right decision is his decision. Don't never do that. Oh. Go back to your work, all of you. He tells us I'm the best at this. I'm, I know what I'm doing. Who are you? You're stupid. That was the most stupid thing I ever seen in this kitchen the longest I've been here. Look, my way is the only way. Do you know why? Because my way is the right way. Because of Tom, there are a lot of things that aren't done the right way. The way we handle food, the, what comes in through those doors, it's not always the best product. A lot of it's not good at all. Dan, they don't like it. It's kind of hard when we have all this unquality product. I don't really know why we don't do any business. Since the day I bought the old Hitchin Post, I just keep her money out of my pocket just to stay open. My God. We barely make it. Now what are you going to do? Pay the bills and get it over with it. I would have never signed up for this had I known that almost seven years into it, he would still be in charge. But we can't walk away because we've invested so much in it, so much time, so much money. But I don't know what we're going to be left with. Tom is anxious to meet up with Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay, I'm right here. So he has volunteered to pick him up and give him an early morning briefing on the old hitching post. Whereabouts are you from? Quarfu. Wow. The restaurant. It's Greek, right? No, no. Oh. It's an American. American, American food, but I have some Greek dishes. OK. Yeah. This is my third restaurant. Right. I've been very successful my other two. Well done. How long did you buy it? Six years. OK. I bought it for my daughter. 
as a, as a gift. Uh, well, I bought it for her future, for, for her, her future. family. So she's running the restaurant now, but she's not running by herself. I'm right next to her. Okay. I, I need to educate her a lot. She needs so much to learn about this business. I have a problem. She doesn't realize how much it takes to run a restaurant. Right. How many hours you gotta put into the restaurant? She's not hungry for it. No, she's not. Wow. She's not. I give her a lot of authority, but she's not a hardworking person. Is she spoiled? She's not spoiled, but stop it. How's the restaurant doing now? Awful. Awful. I mean, awful, awful. I try to buy quality food. Good. That's very good. We try to give generous portion and reasonable prices, but wow. it doesn't seem to go nowhere. Jesus. And this is the honest truth. How much money are you losing a week? <sighs> are you ready? Please. Seven to eight thousand dollars. A week. A week. Thirty thousand a month. Yes. Exactly. Jesus. Exactly. It's a disaster. This is your third restaurant. The previous two were successful. The third Very one, you bring your daughter in, and it's starting to go down. Correct. That's, That's the honest truth. This is it. The size of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen, thanks for the update. And be upfront and be honest with me so I can get to the problem straight away. What you see is what you get. Wow. Look at this place. Chef Ramsey. How are you, my darling? Very well indeed. And first name is? Janice. I'm the manager. You're the manager. I am indeed. Right. Um, Tom picked me up at the uh, train station. Oh, my. Don't believe everything you're told. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Because he, he was local. Oh, please. Tom is a person who feels that he knows what's best. OK, um, let me sit down. Please, right this way. I don't think Tom has it within him to be open to change. Will he listen to Chef Ramsay? Unfortunately, I don't think so. Hello. How are you? Good. Me, Andrea. Nice to meet you. Andrea, likewise. Gordon. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Let's catch up. Uh, obviously, um, I was grateful for Dad to come pick me up. Yeah. So he is um, instrumental in setting this up for you. Yes, I always wanted to do this. I love well, people. Uh, your role, personally, what is that? Um, I come in here. I manage the front of the house, um, our functions that we do. I deal with the public. He said he runs the restaurant. Yes. But I mean, even after six years, you'd think that you've got up to speed in terms of trying to run this place. I can handle it and try to make it more successful, but my father's not ready to pass the buck over. Really? I can't do um, much of anything. On most parts, my hands are tied. Just he's having a hard time backing down. Ooh, wow, because he let it slip that you weren't that passionate about running this. Oh, I think he's extremely wrong about that. Why would he I tell have no me idea that? why he would say something like that. Because he sees, you know, I work really hard in here to make it more successful. I've got my husband to help me, and I think that hey, we're... Husband. My husband works in here also. Okay, where does he work? He works uh, in the kitchen on the line. Um, Dad also mentioned that you're stubborn. What are you stubborn about? It's his way or no way. That's why he says I'm stubborn, because I have different ideas and I have different views. But he has taken away a lot of my desire to do things and the, the willingness and the drive that I had when we first came in here because um, I am held back. You know, I'm stuck. That's frustrating. Right, but there seems to be a, a butting of heads that we're not making headway. Is Tom nearby? Is he in the Let kitchen? Let me get him for you. Something that doesn't quite stack up. When we first came in here, this was my baby. But little by little, he's slowly draining some of the drive that I had for it. Um, sit down, please. Thank you. You said I wasn't passionate? I didn't, uh, I didn't mean like that at all. What I wanted to say is you're not ready to take over. Why aren't I ready to take over? First of all, you don't realize how much it takes a restaurant, the hours, and the money. Dad, you've got to be kidding. I don't know how many hours and stuff. I don't see everything. I've been by your side for all these years. The experience is not there yet, Andrea. So how many years did you think that I needed an experience <clears throat> for the restaurant that you bought me? What do you think is going to happen in this business that hasn't happened in the previous seven years? Who's the stubborn one in this relationship? Andrea. And she gets it from? Tom. From her father, Bud. First of all, none of you or your husband are ready to face a restaurant with a very lot of business 
we do. First of all, you don't even know. That's our fault that we do very little business. We need to fix things, Dad. Okay, why don't you fix them for seven years? You were here. Yeah, how can I fix what you're not allowing me to fix? What do you mean I don't allow you, Andrea? What do you allow me to do? I gave every right. For what in here? I, I have you... to ask you to get ink. You don't even know when you write a check how much money is in the, in the safe there. Because you take all the money. Right. I have but no what control I'm over is... anything else. But what I'm saying to you, Andrea, do you ever sit down and do your numbers? How can you expect me to know what needs to be done when you were doing all of that? No, no, no. This is a big issue right now. And you really upset me a lot. Uh, no, you're upset. I'm me. working for my money tonight for you. <sighs> if you were ready enough to say to me, Dad, sit home this week. I That's do. three months old. What? I want to work and I want to control the rest. Really? How many come on, Andrea. We've said that to you. Step down. You don't need to come in so much. I can do this. Dad, we've already had this conversation like two years ago. We never did. We, we never did. But what I'm saying to you, Andrea, you're not ready to take over. That's not true. Thank you. Chef Ramsay has just discovered that Tom and Andrea are clearly not on the same page about Andrea's capabilities. My father told me that I wasn't passionate. How can we be when he sucks the fucking life out of you? And while it's way too early to know who's right, the time has come to pass judgment on the food. Hi there. Hello. First name is? Carla. Carla, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Hanson. Grew up okay, right please. here. Been here uh, 26 years now. Wow. They've been with the first owners, and now That's Andrea and Tom. Are those two always passing heads? They are, Chef. They are. Yeah. So, yeah. but anyways. OK, let's start off. What would you recommend? Cranberry haddock, Chef, because we are in cranberry world down here. Uh, cranberry haddock? Yes. I'll go for that. OK. You've got to try the meatloaf. Yes. And then lobster ravioli, made on site? Yes, Chef. It's made on site. It's fresh ravioli. Fresh ravioli. Oh, wow. Let's try one of them as well. Okay. Thank Thanks. you, Chef. Tom makes us say that, yes, everything is fresh here. Let's prepare everything we need to do. It's not true. All right, Danny. Pero, uh, double check the salt. Chef Ramsay would love everything on my menu. It's excellent food. That's good. You got the lobster ravioli coming? It's yes, coming, we do. Yeah. Minute away. Good. area of cranberry, but my God, from napkins to the walls, it's cranberry OD. Wow, that was quick. This is our lobster ravioli. This is the homemade ravioli. Uh, Listen, OK, I apologize for that. The lobster is not fresh. The lobster's not fresh. You told me it was. It's frozen. It's frozen. It's frozen. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're not even uh, hot in the middle. Oh, there. Oh, I can't do that to my tummy. It's dreadful. Obviously, it's still a ball. Yes, Jeff. They're nasty. That didn't even get swallowed. Sorry about that. Thank you, Carla. Why would you come to a restaurant to order store bought product? I, I, I don't get it. Oh, Chef Dan? Yes. He spit it out. Listen, the longest I owned the place, I never heard one complaint. Never once. Next, cranberry haddock. Cranberry. Lemon on this one, honey. That looks good, Carla. Right, what is this? We have the cranberry haddock. Oh, cranberry haddock. Yes. Good. Carla, come on. It looks like some bear shot in the woods. Really? And what's the water coming up? I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I can't believe I'm eating this. Oof. Watery and bland. That is absolutely disgusting. Mm. No, I'm sorry. Raw. God, they're dreadful. Look at that. Bland, undercooked. And as for that mess, mm, 
soggy, wet, and just depressing. Ugh. Disaster. What a mess. OK, uh, we'll yeah. check on your next scores for you. Thank you, Carla. God, that was gnarly. He doesn't like the cranberry haddock. What is wrong with our cranberry haddock? The cranberry was not good. He doesn't like it, no. I eat once a week. People love it. People taking them home. They eat today, and they take it two, three orders home. The chef Ryan's didn't like it. This is the meatloaf. Oh, meatloaf. Thank you. When, when was this one made? This was made today, meatloaf. Today? Yes. OK. Enjoy. Seasoning, dry, horrible texture. Doesn't feel like a meatloaf was made today, let me tell you. Was the meatloaf made today? No, meatloaf was made God knows how long and then frozen. Don't even tell me that. Are you sure that was made today, darling? It was not, chef. It's frozen. It's yes. frozen. Frozen. Carla, why are you doing this to me? Sorry about that. It's bland. It's bland. just okay. Yuck. Yuck. Okay. It doesn't really freeze that well, meatloaf. Who makes that? Chef Dan. And the chef Dan had his tongue removed. Well, thanks, Danny. OK. And here we go. What's wrong with this? This is actually Chef Danny said it was dry and overcooked. We do freeze it. And you think you shouldn't lost your taste buds? Give me a break. Chef Ramsey destroyed every dish I offer him. He insulted me. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Ramsey or no Ramsey. Danny, where's the kitchen? When you insult me, better be ready to explain yourself. Hi, guys. Come around. And this is? I'm Dan. Dan. Gordon, good to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm Kevin. Kevin. I'm Spiros. Spiros? Nice so, oh, the Andrew's husband? Yep. Excellent. Come over, guys, please. I am absolutely disgusted. The food is outdated and bland. The lobster ravioli, disgusting. I don't understand the mentality of serving frozen shit that you buy in. Dan. Help me understand the madness. I can't even answer you on that right. one right now. It's a setup for disaster. Had it with cranberries. That cranberry glaze, watery spinach, disgusting. Raw sweet potatoes, the grilled meatloaf. When was that cooked? Every two weeks, we end up making a batch or so. It gets portioned and then frozen. How sad. I mean, how sad. Yep. When you freeze cooked meat, what happens to it as it defrosts? It dries out. Then you grill it. What happens to that again? Dries it out even Dries again. a little bit more. It's gross. It's almost impossible to make a, a loaf of meatloaf every day or every other day. You cannot do it. So we make it in batches of two weeks. We freeze it. We dry it out. We thaw it. And then we grill it. It makes sense. Come on. I thought you were going to love my meatloaf, regardless if it was frozen. You thought I'd like that? Well, I really did. I mean, I'm, you want me to but be how's it possible, Tom? It's something different. Really. It's an insult to America. In this area, that's what they love. Really? Yep. You're not going to convince me on that one. Now, this is very, very good dish and a very famous dish. They come in people from far away. Dan, have you actually ever sat down and tasted that dish from start to finish? Yes. Yeah. Do you like it? No. So now I've got a chef that doesn't like what he serves. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Yes. But you seem happy with it. No, not happy with it. Then stop it, Dan. I try. I try. You know, I do. <laughs> wow. How do you rate the food? I don't think it's all that much to talk about. I think we're outdated. I think it's just OK at best. But out of 10? Three or four. And you're saying, Ramsey, you need to respect my food. I did. Get out of your bubble, Tom. Get in the real world. I wish I could say thank you. How come? How come you don't ever tell your brother that the food you cook in here and you serve with him is shit? We talk all the time that the food's not that good. 
Did you tell him to change? You don't let him change things. I never allowed him. I off. never allowed him not he to change says anything. To when did I tell off? you not to change? I've tried to take things Come off. Come on, man. Why don't you change the menu? It's not his the fault, not my fault. The way you spoke earlier, you say four to five. That's what I'm giving to this food. Our food is good. How can you say a friend of the Chef Ramsey is not good? We got another issue there. Piece of shit. When I think I'm right, oh, I'm gonna keep fighting. You know what I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep fighting and fighting when I get done. With Tom being adamant that there is nothing wrong with the food. I'm sure you're doing this, folks. Chef Ramsay gets his first opportunity to see how the locals feel about the menu at the old hitching post. All right, boys. Pasta, pignola, and meatloaf. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, chef. Put that in the oven to reheat, please. This is the one we want to use. That's the oldest. Wow. What is that? Tom. Boys. Frozen calamari. Did you buy them in like that? That's how it comes. Is that how you grew up watching calamari in Greece? I try it fresh with the skin on like a European. And nobody even ordered them. Nobody ordered fresh? Oh, fucking here we go. One more meatloaf coming up. Is that the meatloaf? Yeah. The frozen. Tom, you got upset with me earlier. You got obsessive. I want you to love my meatloaf. Yeah. Can you hear the little maracas that yep. I have in Greece? Yep. I mean, honestly, do you want me to kiss your ass no. and tell you that I love your meatloaf? So, I dare you, go out in your dining room and tell your customers that you're serving that. No, I'm not going to do that. you got no balls, have you? i got a lot of balls. Mine is bigger and stronger. Yours is bigger and stronger. i got more fucking balls. More than him and a, a lot of, a half a dozen like him. You're not proud of what you serve. Because if you're proud of what you serve, you'd have no problem taking it to the dining room. I'm proud of my product, regardless if it's been in the freezer. Take it out there, then. I don't want to do that because it's too humiliating to me to go with yeah. a hazard of rock, two so pieces of meatloaf. It's not that humiliating for you to take the money, then. Oh, put it in your pockets. That's not humiliating, is it? Why don't you just admit that it's wrong? It's not wrong. The wrong is you if I go over here and like such a fucking blockhead. Them. And you think you're going to be successful serving that shit. Wrong, Thomas. You shouldn't be anywhere near this kitchen. What a disaster. Yes. I'm cooking it and I'm prison. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm struggling, Andrea, I'm struggling with who pushing the standards here. Who cares? Look at that. Does that represent you? No. The second generation running your father's restaurant? No. And if someday he lets you take over, you have to do something about this. No, I realize it. It doesn't stop you having standards. When you see it like in a big picture like this, when it's one thing after another that's getting pointed out, it's, you know, it's, it's one big mess. Carla, as you take their orders, yeah. I think it'd be nice for you to explain whether it's fresh, whether it's frozen, defrosted. OK. I want you to know what you're ordering. All right, um, the dill salmon. Salmon frozen. is frozen, yes. The shrimp scampi? Frozen. Frozen, yes. <clears throat> How about the crab cakes? Frozen. <laughs> All right, my order is going to be Caesar salad, which is fresh, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. My apologies. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You. As some diners rethink their orders, Others regret theirs. Chicken doesn't taste fresh. How was that uh, meatloaf? It tastes like a uh, TV dinner that I give my three-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, that's being polite. It wasn't very good. No. Um, I don't think they were fresh. You don't think they were fresh? Yes. With Chef Ramsay hearing enough of the customer complaints, he decides he needs to further investigate the practices of the kitchen. Dan. I didn't, I didn't. Yes, sir. Do you buy them like that in milk? No, we don't buy them like that. Why they like this? It's the watery. Because, unfortunately, those are frozen ones. I know. Sorry. Tom, I mean, honestly, why are you doing this to yourself? Those were what they were. Why are you doing this? Just smell inside there. Come on. Just smell inside there. It smells good. Awesome fresh. 
It smells beautiful, ocean fresh. Kevin, can you get me Andrea, please? Andrea. Oh, back, please. Uh, you can't hit me right now. So, Andrea, come around, please. You got two seconds? The scallops were serving. They're frozen ones. He's in denial. I have to talk. Relax, no, no, yeah. no. I need to talk. Just talk. There's nothing wrong. I eat myself. If you pick up this bag, I pick them up myself this morning. If you take this bag, they've been in the freezer for one day or 24 hours. And pick up this one, you're going to find the same seafood pork. Disagree. Go ahead and smell this one and smell that one. Tell me what the, what, what's the difference. You are trying to convince me that serving frozen food is better than fresh. It's not a frozen. They were in the fucking freezer. You buy them in the bulk fresh, you put them in the bags, you weigh them out, yes. and you freeze them. Yes, I do. And in the morning, you take out 10 bags, you let them defrost, they sit in their piss like that, and then you cook them. Yes, I do that. Right. But Sorry. you will criticize me the milk and the smell. There's no smell any difference. That's so, one from this one. And I say they smell like awesome fresh, and they do. So they smell the same once they've been frozen. Depends if you've got to go oh. one year on a freezer or one oh. day. All right. Oh. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Oh. They smell fresher once they're defrosted. Shit. You're fucking loopy. They smell fresher after being frozen. Oh, come on. Anybody's in a restaurant business. What? No matter who he is. Rule number one when studying to be a chef, fresh food doesn't smell, taste fucking better once it's frozen. Shellfish is something you never freeze. And now here you are lecturing me that that fucking thing is fresh. Nah. While Chef Ramsay continues to explain to Tom how his pre-cooking is having a negative impact on the food. Fresh food doesn't smell, taste fucking better once it's frozen. Tom remains in denial. No. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. No. He's trying to convince me that this idiotic setup is acceptable. Do you honestly think that your customers will be happy to pay for frozen shit being defrosted rapidly? They are under the impression in your fucking dining room that what you're cooking them is fresh. So you're not going to convince me that this is better than serving it fresh. What I've just said, does that make any sense? It does. It does. Thank God you're not as stubborn as your dad. If you don't like my food, don't even talk to me. I don't want you. Oh, my God. I'm extremely embarrassed. My heart is, like, breaking because um, this is something that I'm really proud of. And tonight just showed that I really shouldn't be proud of this. Thank you. Oh. Really disgusting. My dad, his mindset is not allowing us to go up from here. I need a drink. Andrea, this can't continue. Your father's in denial. He's trying to win an argument that doesn't make sense. Welcome to my life. He's got to stop trying to convince me of these ridiculous practices, and every time. He doesn't see that they're wrong. I want this business, but I want it, I want it to function correctly. And my fear is that by the time it comes to me, what am I going to do with it? There's nothing to have. It's gone. That's my fear. I need your help to convince him that we are stopping and dead. Frozen shit. I can't do it without you. OK. I'll see you in the morning. Thank nice. you. Good night. With Tom claiming the community is in love with the food. Hello. Nice to, mm, Great to, to see, you. see you. Have a seat. Chef Ramsay gets up early. You willing to take some callers while we're here? Absolutely. To get more feedback from the locals. I've attempted to have a butternut squash ravioli and felt digestive issues. Cool. The fish and my vegetables were total mush. It's dated, it's lackluster, it's in need of help. Now armed with more evidence of what he suspected, Chef Ramsay heads back to the old hitching post for a showdown with Tom and his staff. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Hello. Hello Chef Ramsay. First of all, the one thing that I learned since I've been here is that there are a lot of bad practices taking place. Yesterday was very upsetting. Right. This morning, I went live to a local radio station. All of a sudden, the phone lines start going crazy. Lines are jammed. These complaints started coming in. Let me tell you something really important. 
The reason why we're in this situation, Tom, is because this whole business is run on your system. Why are you so controlling, Tom? It wasn't controlling type of thing. It was just a routine. Not as far as I'm concerned. Tom runs a business his way, and he's not open to alternative ideas. So Tom makes a decision. Everyone's got to go with it. I know a percentage of decisions. How many of them are right? I think it's 50-50 on some wow. of the items. Wow. Tom, let me tell you, you do not want to pass a liability to your daughter. Exactly. So you have a duty now to step up and do something you haven't done in seven years, and that's change. Sometimes you're stuck mentally, physically, economically, and there's no way out, and you're just hoping for a better day. But I'm always a believer of better day, better business, to do changes at any time. OK. I'm hoping that my father is ready to listen because we need a big change. We have to change immediately. And I trust you. Mm -hmm. I need your help. Let's get together. Yeah. I can't do it without you. You got my support 100%. I want to be right next to you. While Tom appears ready to finally give in and change, Wow. I mean, it looks better than last night, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chef Ramsay, with the help of a couple of locals, look at that beauty, has another major point he wants to make. Take care. Now for something fresh. Just wanted to show you something. Two meatloafs. The one on the left-hand side is a turkey meatloaf. Next to that, you've got a classic meatloaf, both made fresh. Visually, what does that look like? Beautiful. Really? Really nice. Gorgeous looking, both of yeah. them. Right. Take a fork, please. Things need to look good, granted, but proof is in the tasting. Chef, I swear, in my life, I never taste any better. Mm. Yeah. Yum. Right. I have a confession to make. Uh -oh. This was actually made by two of your customers. Wow. What you've got to understand is to keep your business alive, you have to deliver something better than they can cook themselves at home. That is it. I do realize right now we need to change immediately for much better. You know what? I was blind all this time. And I'm ready for the changes because I trust his judgment and his experience. You've got to want to do it. Absolutely. With Tom now fully understanding the errors of the past, Chef Ramsay and his team jump into high gear to give the old hitching post an exciting new identity. Right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tom, when you bought this restaurant, you didn't make any changes. Very little. Take off your blindfolds. Beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. So, gone are the cranberry walls that match the cranberry napkins. We now have a stunning modern bluish grey, contemporary. Gone are those disgusting banqueting chairs. We now have some rustic, charming, authentic wooden chairs. This is amazing. Gorgeous. Have a quick look at the reception area. Oh. The whole entire area has been cleaned up. Beautiful. We did an art installation of reclaimed oh, shutters. Yes. Oh, How cool is yeah. this? It welcomes you to the restaurant. That's incredible. Ready to see the next part? Yes! Ready? Let's go down. All the way in. Oh, my god. All the booths no. are gone. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my god. <laughs> Those booths give you that claustrophobic feel. We've lightened up the dining room. We've got a proper space in here now. This is gorgeous. On the wall, we have these stunning plates. Now, I know you're Greek, and you have your traditions, but these plates are not for breaking. <laughs> <laughs> this is just amazing. Totally, I feel like I'm in a new building. I'm at the new hitching post. You happy? More than happy. <laughs> <laughs> the changes, the, the chandeliers, the colors, the photos, beautiful, all around. Everything in one night. <laughs> this is the most incredible thing I ever see. I feel on the top of the world. Only in America. To go along with the dramatic makeover. Come through, please. Wow. 
is a total revamp of the food and the practices on how to prepare it. We'll be cooking fresh. Running out of things is normal. Get used to it, OK? I fully agree with you. Yep. Let's start off at the top. Mm. A delicious homemade clam chowder. Yeah. Oranges. Oh, wow. Next to that, a New England lobster roll. Yeah. A pan-seared salmon. Oh, wow. Then with the herb butter, asparagus, and roasted potatoes. Meatloaf. Look at that. Bacon wrapped. Yummy. Creamy mashed potatoes, green beans, with a really nice glazed ketchup sauce. I love it. Look how good the food looks. Just beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's amazing. Jump in. All right, I'm digging in. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Incredible. I feel like I'm tasting at a new place, like somewhere else. Excellent meatloaf. Mm. <laughs> when you order any of our dishes from the new menu, you will be satisfaction guaranteed. I thought I, my chart was very good, but this is actually I, I have never tasted anything better, and that's the honest truth. Okay. You like it, Dan? I love it. Mm -hmm. oh, so nice. It's relaunch night, and everything feels different about this restaurant. The only thing you're gonna find in the freezer? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> new decor, new menu, and a new boss in control. So much to do here. Okay. Controlling the standards, being assertive with the team. Okay. Pressure. I need to step up and be a leader and have a smooth show tonight. This is huge that we get it right. It's do or die. Let's have a great service. Good evening. How are you? Please come right in. Yeah. 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 And fish and chips. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. If anything we can do for you, please let us know. Okay? Thank you. Let's get ready, boys. Firing out. Table 23, two clam chowders, Caesar, and a wedge salad. Two chowders, Caesar, and a wedge, ma'am. Coming up. Perfect. Coming your way. Thank you. Ladies, pick up. App's going down for 23. What's next, please, Andrea? Keep it going, yeah? I need two salmon for 25. Right here. Ladies, pick up. Thank you. Come and here, now please. I need a stroganoff, a scampi, a meatloaf, and a medium rare rib. Oh, come on. So look. That's raw. Oh, yeah. oh, Put your finger, yes, your finger in there. You are the last line of defense, and they're just throwing food out. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. All of you. Yes, listen. The salmon, raw in the middle. I need one piece of fish on the fly. Now, look at me. We haven't worked this hard to start throwing food out. This lady, she's the last line of defense. Do not serve her raw salmon. Come on, bring it together. Yes. Please, one mistake like that just throws everybody. I was worried because I want to make sure that foodie was right. Andrea, do something. Reorganize yourself. How long am I waiting for that salmon? Complete the table. Come on. There you go, Andrea. Ladies, pick up. Take those now. Thank you. Looks lovely. Good. I'm looking for 30 and 26 right now. Seconds away. Thank Good. you. Andrea, you're doing beautiful, honey. I need a pick up. Pick it up, baby. Thank you. You know you can do it. 26. Oh, that looks beautiful, honey. Doesn't it? Delicious. Really fresh. Beyond good. It is definitely a lot better. <laughs> All right, guys, last three flips on the board. Finish strong, guys, Dan. Yeah, keep it going, yes? Yes, sir. Keep it going, Andrea. Well done. Up. Got it. Carlo, pick up 29. Andrea, show them what you can do, honey. I couldn't have beaten any happier. Now, I'm going to cook everything fresh every day. Chef Ramsey proves to me it's the only way to go. Nice job, everyone. Nice, nice teamwork. That was, that was awesome. Awesome. That was good, right, Dad? Very good. I don't think my dad was 100% sure that I could do it, but I'm pretty sure I proved to him that I could do it. Um, I'm really happy. Andrea, can I see you for a couple of minutes? Sit down. Andrea? Today's a big day for me. I want to present something very exciting, something very good. I'm passing over this or something you want. I'm leaving. Okay. I want you to take care of it. I want you to be successful. And you know I'm going to always be next to you whatever you need. I know. So, go out there, girl, and get them. Okay. All right? I love you, Dad. I love you too, honey. Thank you. Come here, man. Go ahead. 
it was very difficult for me, but that's my wishes. That's exactly what I want to do. She's a leader, she's a worker, she's going to be very successful. You just made her very, very happy. It's been a long time coming, and I understand the nervousness, but honestly, she can do it. I know she can do it. Okay. She can do it. She had two best teachers. She can do this. Thank you. Okay, let me tell you something. What an amazing relaunch. Come on. How does it feel? Oh, great. You guys did a fantastic job. Everybody. Thank you, Chef. I feel better than ever. Andrea deserves it, and it's all hers. Mm -hmm. From the bottom of my heart. Just reaching this point today and, yeah. you know, getting the OK from my dad to step up and be in charge, it's amazing. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Thank you. Well done to you all. Thanks Brilliant. to you. Thank Keep you. Keep on doing well. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> I am the most grateful person to thank Chef for what he done from me. Chef Ramsey proves to me I can hand over the restaurant to my daughter. And right now, I could not be any happier. <sighs> I never thought I was going to be able to get through to Tom. Wow, what a stubborn man. But once he realized I was doing all this for his daughter, he was a changed man. In fact, he was a pleasure to work with. And I strongly believe in Andrea. And now, finally, after seven years, so does her father. Wow. Frozen meatloaf, cranberry and haddock. It's all Greek to me. After Chef Ramsay left, Tom kept his promise to give Andrea full control of the restaurant. Gentlemen, firing an app for table four, Caesar and chili. The old hitching post is on its way to becoming not just a successful restaurant. Excellent. Perfect, really perfect. Good, Thank you for joining us. But it also fulfilled the dream that a father had for his daughter. We're so happy for you. We are. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, I've never seen anything like this. Chef Ramsay travels to Monrovia, California, and within minutes, he is caught in the crossfire. Take Cook the your food right, and then you Shut can your serve mouth. It. Shut up. The fighting is constant. You guys can't do your job right. Get out. Nobody's yeah, stopping you. Right Get out. Shut the hell up. They fight about everything. I'm not the one eating it. Oh, so you want to give it I'm to that fool? We'll find something to do with you. Hey. Including the food. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? Why don't you take over? And they are not bothered about doing it in front of the customers. Be quiet. The customers are listening to you guys. Stop screaming. At the helm of the madness is a father who forces his children to work at the restaurant against their will. What's your problem? Stupid. And while all this family fighting is going on, some son you are wanting to help. There is a restaurant that is falling apart at the seams. Damn, that's horrible. There seems to be no standards at all. What's he trying to do, kill me? Chef Ramsay faces a true nightmare with a family so volatile, in your head. and so out of control, you're Please, more than garbage. Get out of my you thing. look like trash. He may be unable to save this family from themselves. We kill each other here. What is that? You're serving rotten fruit. Move the house and kill them. Then wake up. You wake up. <coughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here. That Amazing. Thank you, Chef. Monrovia, California is located 30 minutes northeast of downtown Los Angeles. And right in the heart of Old Town is the local eatery, Sam's Mediterranean Kebab Room, owned and operated by Sam Najjar and his family. 1982, I started working as a best boy and dishwasher, and my dream was just to open a family restaurant with my wife and my kids. And then my dream became true. I buy the restaurant in 1997. Business was good when he first opened, but after a major slowdown in the last couple of years, the only employees that remain are Sam's wife and children. Let's go, Imad. Let's go, Imad. Me and my siblings can really kind of put our adult lives on hold just to see my dad's dreams come true. But, you know, I kind of want to start my life, but I'm not able to because, you know, I have to stick here with my dad. Nobody cares about business. Nobody cares. 
I feel like no one really wants to be here. The place looks a little depressing. The decor, it's a little old. Sitting down, really? We don't really give much effort anymore. My brother just slack on a lot of things. I and mean, just, here, 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 here. Bad, like how bad? Like bad, like I spit it out, I can't eat it. Half of the meat you served me as well. The beef, go, the go lamb, outside, and go the outside. chicken. Go outside. Most of the time, a restaurant is empty, and we tend to have nothing to do, so we start arguing with each other. I put all the numbers on my checks, and that's how you know how many times you guys are taking the food the without the salad? No. Is how is the chicken cold if we take it right off the grill? It wasn't cold. She it came was... and told me the chicken was cold. I didn't say the chicken was cold. Really it was cold. It was cold. And we do argue in front of the customers sometimes. How is that wrong? There's only this limited space. They come I did my hummus, and then we make a hummus, and then 10 minutes later, we make a hummus again. And you got drinks. Every day my kids, they're fighting all the time together. I don't understand why. Dude, Jamal, go outside. This is not where you belong. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Why, why you always you guys out? Everybody said they weren't doing anything. The stress this restaurant puts on us, you know, it's really kind of tearing down our family. <sighs> Business is very bad. We don't make money here. What the heck is that? $400? This is the only income my family depend on it. If the restaurant closes, we're gonna be on the street. Before Chef Ramsay can make the short drive to the restaurant from his hotel, he is besieged by Sam's children. So you're Sam's kids? Yes. yes. Right. First name? <laughs> Imad. Imad. Yes. And Rhonda. Lena. Lena. We Sam. We Sam. Yes, sir. And Jamal. Jamal. Yes. Let's catch up inside. I was just on the way to see that. OK, no problem. When we tell Chef Ramsay what's wrong with the restaurant, he's going to be like, wow. So in a nutshell, what is wrong with the restaurant? Um, honestly, I really thought about that. He's just scared to let you know. He's like really like so I used to be cool going to the restaurant. It was always a fun thing to go to the restaurant. It's like almost never it's for anxious. Jeez, one at a time, please. So I can hear you all clearly. What's wrong with the restaurant? My dad. Your dad. Basically, a lot of arguing. You don't do this for the restaurant. You don't do that. Or the restaurant's your fault. The restaurant's our fault. Headbutts, 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 like everything. Hold on a minute. How many hours a week do you work? I'm working every day from 10 to 10. So you're full time? Yes. Seven yeah. days a week. Seven days a week. Yeah. We're all like that. We're all there inside and out seven days a week. Why would you all need to be there seven days a week? Because we're the only staff. Is this true? Yes, yes. it is. My dad, he doesn't want to put anyone else in the restaurant, like um, like his staff wise. He it's, says it's a family business. We all have to put in work. He always tells us that he did not have seven kids for us to go and do what we want. He always wanted us to like stay together, stay together in the cool. restaurant. But we all have dreams like and goals besides the restaurant. Right. We all have stuff to do, and we when we want to do it, it's like we can't because we're at the restaurant. But now as we get older, we're forced to be there because there's no yeah. other yeah. employees. Right now, who really wants to be there? At this point, no one. Wow. We need help. We need someone to just right. to, to show yeah. my dad, like, um, he needs to change. He's, he's just, just scared to let go. I appreciate all the information. I respect your honesty. And I'm going to go into Sam's now. I'm going to see him. Um, he doesn't know about this, right? Did you tell no, him who we are? No. Let's keep it between us, OK? Is there anything else I need to know before I get in there? Um, just be prepared. The restaurant just needs a lot of work. I'm done to get in there now. Yeah? See you back in the restaurant. All right, all right. OK? There he is. Hello. How are you doing? What's your first Sam. name? Sam. Sam, OK, the owner? Yes. Excellent. And how long have you been open? From 97. And you run it with you and your... And my kids. Oh, your kids? I have seven kids. So it's a family-run restaurant? Yeah, they run the restaurant. That's a lot of salaries to pay out. Oh, I don't pay them any salary. You don't pay your children no. to work here. I can't afford to pay them. Where, where do they live? They live with me in the house. That's why I'm not charging anybody. You're not like charging that. anyone. What, to live at your house? I don't charge that's anybody. A, that's a nice dad. <laughs> Let me shortlist you now from Dad of the Year. But they like to be here, right? Yeah. They enjoy it here. Sure. Yeah, right. Right. And in your mind, what's wrong with the restaurant? The restaurant is very slow. I've been behind almost $70,000. Wow. 
my kids, they're fighting all the time. The children are fighting? Yeah, always they're fighting. Oh, how oh nice, breaking the plates. You hear that? They fight? Yeah. In the restaurants? Yeah, all the time. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Not me. I did it for the other order. I told you I was working on the other order. Dumbass. Wow. And how would you rate your food out of 10? Uh, probably nine. Nine? Wow. I like that. Welcome. Oh, shit. What happened there? Oh, my God. No, don't worry. I'll change it. Don't worry. I can change that over. Um, what would you recommend? Well, we have the lamb shank. It's very good. Oh, I love lamb shank. Where's the lamb from? Lamb is uh, from New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Thank you. You're good to welcome. meet you. welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. Hello. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. How are you? All right, pretty good. Nice to see you. All right. Um, meet. Hold on. As in meeting place, it's M-E-E-T. How do you spell meet? M-E-A-T. Wow. I don't know if he wants to look through the whole menu, but there's more misspellings than that. There's quite a few. OK. I'm going to see as much as I can so I can get my head around There's it. There's combination place if you want to do okay. a little bit of both. I'll start off with a vegetarian combo. Thank you. Uh, your dad said the lamb shank is from New Zealand, so he recommended okay. that. Uh, gyro. OK. Uh, do you know what? I want to see the top sirloin steak and shrimp. Medium rare, please, darling. Okay. And I think we're fine, then. OK. Wow. Thank you, then. Look at this place. The decor is dreadful. Wow. God, it's depressing. Gabby, ready? Coming up. OK. Veggie combo first. Me four plates. What the heck are you doing here? You don't put meat with the vegetable. Don't worry, man. Go outside. Oh, like that? I got it. I'll take care of it. You need to change it. Wow. Okay. Everybody doesn't want to cook food back here. Get out. Nobody's yeah, talking to you. Thought. Get out. Well, I'm just telling you guys, you guys can't do your job, right? You're you you over here thinking that you're putting in the work for everything. Get out. Lots of fighting in the kitchen. Yeah. Every customer can hear it. Get out. Nothing? Get out. Stop You're not helping. Him all Get out. The hell you Stop. Saying? Be quiet. The just people are no looking over God, here. Man. Wow. Is that done? Veggie combo's ready. This is the veggie combo. Thank you, Zank. Um, is that eggplant fresh? Is it fresh? I'll check for you. Please. Answer. Thank you. You mind? Is the eggplant fresh or is it frozen? Canned. Oh. It's from the can. Canned eggplant? Mm -hmm. No. That's gnarly. That's just dreadful. You think of Mediterranean food, you don't think of canned eggplant. Yeah. And the falafel? Um, the falafel, my dad does that. He marinates that. They're bland. It probably has no salt in it. Jeez. So yeah, I'm going to get you your next plate. Um, OK. Dreadful. I'll, I'll let them know. OK, this is uh, Ramsey's plate. He wants to know if you seasoned anything, because there's, like, no flavor to anything. What is it, what is it tasting, like a towel? What's he eating? He just said it's bland. There's, like, no flavor. Give him the gyros. Give him the gyros. Here. Here you go. Take that down. All right. Jar. This is the gyro plate. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Would you ask him when it was made, please? When it was made? Okay. Um, he wants to know when it was made. Tell him we get it from a company. It comes frozen and we heat it up and we put it on the rotisserie. It's lime and beef. Hey, it's not how it's made. Is it, is it fresh? That's what she's asking. Is it fresh? It's not fresh. It's frozen. That's what I told her. It's frozen yeah. because we get it from a company. Yes, you tell her frozen. Not That's fresh. what I told her. I said fresh it's frozen. That means you make it. I told her oh, frozen. Yeah. That's You're talking true. to the head chef and the wall. I you told understand? her it was frozen. You, can, you cannot lie. I didn't lie. You heard me tell her it was frozen. You, might, you need to stop screaming. The people are listening to you. My dad, you know, he just gets mad and he yells at me, which is stupid. If he doesn't know what he's talking about, it doesn't help anything. Strive. It's actually, um, they, it comes from my company, and then it's frozen, and then they heat it up on the rotisserie, so. I would love to be in a position to, to sit here and enjoy my meat, M-E-E-T, but yeah. it doesn't even taste. No taste? I thought it shouldn't, though. Okay. Enjoy. Maybe to the lamb shake. 
You guys didn't cook the gyro right, whoever it was. Shut the fuck up. You're stupid. What have you made right today, though? Just tell me. You're Simple stupid. question. So why don't you come back here and cook? I should come back here and cook. Fine. Fine. Round two. Sounds like a fine start. I need the lamb shank. It's coming. Lamb shank? Yes. Um, wow. Thank you. You guys can't do your job right. You shut the fuck up. Hey. What? I don't want to hear bad Tell language here in the up. kitchen. Tell your son to shut up. Yeah, you do. It looks anemic, the color's dreadful, and it just tastes like bland, boiled lamb. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? You're taking Why don't you take over? I should. Get then out. Do it. If you don't want it, get out. Do it. If you don't want it, get out. You're stupid. Do me a favor. Send that back to fucking New Zealand. OK. What about you? What's going on there? Daddy, are you hearing Because he's telling him that he doesn't know how to cook. So. Nobody's forcing you here. Idiot, dude. Yeah. Just go back Horrible. to the front. Horrible. Horrible. Who he cares about his opinion? He says that the, the lamb it just tastes like it was boiled in water. And it's, he said, send this back to New Zealand. He tried it. He said, there is no flavor on it. But I believe myself, I make the best lamb shank here in California. I really don't know what to do. Bring in your head. Let me hit you one on your head and finish it. Wait, what are you doing again? Oh, yeah, cooking food wrong. Nobody's talking to you. Stay back there. Yo, yo, you think wow. you're stay out of the I mean, I mean, me and keep coming back here. The customers are listening oh, 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 to you guys. Tell, tell him, this is not his job. Thank you. Goodbye. All you do is cut you. You know, two tables just got up and left because all of you guys are yelling or screaming. Hey! Hey, my cool down! Where's the where's the screaming? Stop screaming! While the family continue to battle loudly in the kitchen. You guys are giving out garbage food. Are you serious? Why don't you take over? Chef Ramsay has been forced to endure disappointing dish after dish. Do me a favor. Send that back to New Zealand. OK. And there's another one on its way. It's a steak, and then they're working on this scampi for you. It's coming out. Thank you. OK. Medium rare is not medium well. On the verge of well done. Oh, God. It's so annoying. This is scampi. Um, How is it Yeah, it's well yeah, done. there's no red, there's nothing. It's a medium rare if possible. Yeah. Solid and dry. And jeez, how much butter did he put in there? Um, I like some scampi with my butter. What's he trying to do, kill me? No, but that's how he adds flavor, I guess. That adds that's flavor? His, that's his season. Scampi, rubbery, overcooked. The scampi's overcooked too? Yeah, rubbery, really hard and just, just solid. Anywhere in the med, food doesn't look like this, you know that? Yeah. Bloody hell. Can you get me the uh, chef's out, please? Chef Ramsay wants to see everybody outside. Before I start talking about the dishes, what was the fighting going on there? He just likes to come back and argue about pretty much nothing. Actually, when we get a complaint, I like to tell him what's going on, and they can't take criticism. No, that's not it. Let you like to make it seem like talk. you're better at so everything why are you still than anybody if else. If I come back there and let them know, hey, this is dry, or hey, the hummus is messed no, up. No, we, we can accept that, but the fact that you come back there, oh, you guys can't cook, you guys are shit, it's you guys not, are that. Okay. I don't say it the first time. No, I say it after the 13th table. Right. You like to say that we don't do after nothing After the 13th right. table that better. complains. Okay, okay. That's, okay. Okay. That's what I have every day. Can I start talking about my lunch? The combo plate, eggplant out of a can, hummus, bland, falafel, bland. Sam, you recommended lamb shank, but the bones were disintegrating. When the bones start disintegrating, that's three hours overcooked. I don't know what to tell you. Have you given up? Not yet. Top sirloin, it was miles away from medium rare. Mm. What are you ooming about? Shut up. Okay. No, no, I it's heard not, something earlier. nothing to do with you. Okay. What's wrong? He's making it seem like it's all my fault. He said, mm, mm, like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, they something know they've been messing up all day, before you even walked in. So when you know he was here, can't you just like step up? 
Yeah. You should have stepped up. I'm telling you guys what's okay, going he, on. He, he wasn't in up. that position today. Stop putting the blame on him. You guys were he's cooking. The cook, he's food. the one criticizing us. Okay. Even food if he was food. criticizing, you guys, you guys cooked food. the food. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. You can try it. Tell me what you think. I, I've never seen anything like this. Have you given up? Kind of. Kind of. Do you care? Not really. It shows you don't care. Shrimp, they came swimming in a bowl of butter, overcooked. Didn't you guys see it? It's because we were busy arguing. I could hear it. So could your diners. Yeah, they just get up and leave because of that. Wow. I'm going to get some fresh air. This is my dad's restaurant. I do as much as I can to help him. But being forced to be here every day, you know, it's kind of like making me feel like I don't want to care. So you're not too happy, huh? Not really. And you? What's your problem? I just graduated high school. So who want to run this business? You blame your brother. Yeah, raw food and, and overcooked meat. Is it my fault? No, you do everything perfect. Since you're Mr. Yeah. Perfect, I can make better food. Why don't you serve dinner tonight? Yeah, I should, actually. Yeah, and yeah. I'll work outside. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't step up to the plate. Your job is to put food on the grill. Why don't you make it put your job? Put food on the grill and sit there and watch it cook. Why don't you make it, make it your job? Correctly? Make it your job. You don't know where to do better? Show me you can do better. Can you take it? Show me you can do better. Can you take it off right? Show me you can do better. I'm in the front cleaning tables and cleaning everything up. The kitchen is not my problem. Go ahead. That's your role. That's what I thought. Bad. You cannot step up to Some the plate. Some cook you are, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Some son you are wanting to help. Shut the hell up. Nobody happy here. I don't know what the heck to do. I really don't know. OK, OK. Cook my food right, and you'll be fine. No, we won't be fine. After getting criticized by Chef Ramsay at lunch, Go do something about it. Do what? The family gets ready for dinner service. Oh, so you want to give it I'm to them cold. And they have not taken a break from the fight. My job is to get from there to the table. Relax. Hey, go find something to do with the table. Hey! Stop. That's enough. Chef Ramsay. Hi. Hello. You have another sister? My mom. My mom. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to and meet you. And first name is? I'm Ahlam. Let's catch up, shall we? Let's have a little seat and sit down. Man, I have headache. I have headache, really. First of all, um, I must tell you, it looks like the, uh, the kids are trapped in here. Is this what you wanted? No, not really. No? I feel sorry for the kids because they miss out so much for their life. They need yeah. to grow, go somewhere. But at the same time, he needs them. How do you manage? Bad. Very bad. I haven't been sleeping lately. But it's not healthy for your daughters and your sons to be in this environment seven days a week. They can't be chained to the restaurant. They need some space, right? Yeah, they do. I think if we don't stop it, you're going to lose them. OK. Tonight, I'm going to watch service. I'm going to see how this place operates. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Kebab Room. I need two regular salads. OK, we need a Greek salad, a waffle plate, and a chicken and lula. What are you just standing there for, man? Do something. OK, so who does what on the grill? We pretty much all split it up even. So there's not one person on the grill? No, no. Sam? No. No, we kind of just switch it off. You just switch it on off? Yeah. yeah. Your food's not hot. Just leave it, just leave it. Take yeah. it out, yeah. Send it out. We really don't care how the food is cooked. I'm doing all this work from day to night, every day, and I don't even get paid. Table 14. This is beef and chicken. For 14? Falafel plate, steak, medium. For me. I asked for medium. This is like bloody. He wants this medium. You guys cooked it rare. Who cooked it? I did. It's definitely right. OK, I'll make a new one. Iman! What? It's a steak. It's well done. She wanted medium rare. Hey, look done. What do you want me to do? Shut up. Shut up. Don't tell me look done. It's good. How many steak we throw today, man? Every day, I have to throw like 15, 20 like this. Every day. Sam. No. Yeah. 
They're rotten. Look at this one here. Where's your walking? It's right here, right inside. What's in here? Like a bathtub of parsley. Buckets of parsley. Chopped. That's a fresh. That's what we gathered today. Yeah, I know, but you're not using it today. No. We chop fresh parsley, all the flavor's gone. Yeah. You've got to use it immediately. What are they? They're celery leaves? Whoa. That's a brand new case. That says a statement that nobody cares in here. What is this? Look at that. What? This is two days ago. What do you mean two days ago? Two days ago. This is Tuesday. Sam, today's Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days. Five days. Lamb shank. Lamb shanks. It's just like a dumping ground. Look at this. Salad. It's rotten. And this one? It's tahini. Tahini. You don't think they'd empty that now? Put it in a smaller container? What a mess. Yeah. It is a mess. Oh, man. He gave me a full plate. He didn't eat it. What's wrong with it? It was still raw. Give him another one. He doesn't want another one. Man, I'm getting heart attack here. Wanda, run this out. What are they? Chicken strips, the one we buy, the frozen one. You can't say that. We got two seconds, please. Sam. Come here, all of you. Look at that. Just touch that. I wouldn't serve that to my dog. What did they tell you? I didn't tell you don't serve it. And I don't know why we're doing it. Sam, you're in charge and you're serving raw chicken. I'm amazed that you're still open. Why are you serving? The outside is cooked. So I'm figuring the inside is cooked. Yes, you're chained to the business. Yes, you don't want to be here. But you cannot serve that shit and expect to get away with it. Those kids drive me crazy, man. All what you want, finish the order and sit down. That's not where I can't even have time to sit down. What are you talking about? Oh, it's my kid's fault they do this. It's my kid's fault because of that. He don't listen. He doesn't care. When really it's his decision to keep us all here, he brought that upon himself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Here. That's it. This is the last place. This is cruel all night long. Thank you, guys. Yeah, stay seated and tell him thank you. That was stupid. Oh, stay seated. Look who's talking. You're standing you right there. Right there what, on your phone. What else are you stupid. doing? Get up. That's what I thought. Are you paying me? Are you my boss? You're stupid. Don't tell me what to do. You're stupid. This is fucking annoying, I swear. There's no damn brick out of his head. Oh, here comes the stars of the night. It's my dad's restaurant. I don't have to do nothing. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Oh, stop. Stop. Enough. You're stupid. You have a big mouth. Yeah, keep talking. Shut you your mouth. Saying? Shut up. Fucking idiot. Dumbass. Yeah. So oh, fucking good. waitress, garbage. Look who's talking. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm garbage. You're Please, more than you garbage. Doing as much as I, I can take another dumpster yourself. right now. It looks clearer than your face. Yeah. Shut Enough, up. Huh? Do nothing around here now. All of a sudden, you act like you own the place. You can't have the damn customer right. You can't take it. Or you can't bring back drinks right. Let alone help the yeah, customers. Yeah. Okay. Get you inside. Get inside. inside. You're then useless. Then you You're useless. Until then, Get out shut of my up. face. We can even run the food out and check the tables better than you guys can at the same time. Cook your food right, and then you can serve it. Shut up. Shut up. While Chef Ramsay continues to inspect the state of the restaurant, the family went out for fresh air. And what they got was a major brawl between Rhonda. You do nothing around here now, all of a sudden you act like you own the place. And oldest son, Jamal. You're not even Thank here. You. She's not here either. No, never. Never. You guys are full of shit. Fucking you guys stupid. are full of shit. Baba, who's here every day? Not you. Who's here every day? What, and you're open? Busy? Shut up. Hey, guys, guys, all of you. Stupid. Relax. Honestly, I mean, this does not feel like a family. And the way we've just behaved in the last five minutes is the way we've just conducted service over the last two hours. Disorganized, chaotic, and so fragmented. And the people suffering are the customers. Yeah. Jeez.
Oh, boy. This kid's a dumbass. It's not good. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Is that fair for me to stand there and get yelled at by every single one of them? For what I did was wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. That's not fair. Just come down. Since his arrival, you guys take a seat. Chef Ramsay has witnessed constant bickering and fighting. Okay. He realizes that much of it can be attributed to the feeling of being trapped in their father's restaurant. You've never done this, but what I want you to do now is to be honest with your father and explain that your lives and your careers are going elsewhere. I want you to be open. Tell them what you're feeling your frustrations, why you don't want to be here. Tell my dad. Yes. It's like gonna hurt him. This is gonna be tough, but you each have to stand up to him. You do not have to be here seven days a week. It's stopping now. You've gotta stay focused on what you wanna do now. Here he is, okay? I'm freaking out right now because I know my dad's gonna get hurt. I know he thinks that we love being here, but we really don't. Yeah. So, there's something they would like to talk to you about. OK, I'm ready. Lena, why don't you go first? Let's go, darling. Seba. Hey. Come on. Um, so, even though we're here to help, we appreciate everything the restaurant has done for us. I need to focus on going in a different direction, becoming independent. We all just need a little bit of schedule thing where we're not here seven days a week, every single but one of you, us. But you know, you're still too young right now. You're still a child for me. You're only 19 years old. There is a rule here. This is a family rule. It's not like what you want to do. You have to hear first from your dad and your mom, and then you can do it on your own. I don't think this is going to go as well as Chef Ramsay thinks it's going to go. My dad is not an open-minded person, like, at all. I am here to help you at the moment, and I've been here full-time, every single day, non-stop. But as the time comes, I kind of want to go my own way and do my own thing. How am going to let you go on your own and you're still shy? Sam, what you have got to stop doing is making them feel guilty. And because the restaurant's not making money, they're having to wear that jacket of burden. And it's not your daughter's fault that this is not working. I want them to understand that every day someone has to be here. But it's driving them apart. You have to understand when the time comes, we all have to do our own thing. What can I say? Let's see. Let's get him. Yes, yeah. Um, I'm here to help you. But if I'm going to college, it can't be. I promise you, they're all here for you. And as well as this is tough, it's really important for them. <laughs> and I'm here for you as well. And yes, you've got every pressure, every bill, every demand on your shoulders, but we can't continue like this, buddy. OK? OK. Come on. <sighs> Seeing my father cry, hell is really hard for all of us but how to do it, how to tell them the truth straight up. I know I've been here every day for the past um, four, five years, 
I don't always make it seem like I hate this place, but I do. <laughs> but we're gonna change this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm not going anywhere for the short term. I'm gonna be by your side. Let's get me away. We argue, we fight, we kill each other here. All because, all because, Nobody cares enough to try, to try to do something about it. <laughs> it was tough. They're always going to be your children. They're always going to be here for you. But they have other aspirations and other dreams. And there comes a time when we all have to let go. And today is the beginning of that. Of course, it makes sense. I can't stop them. I can't stop them. <laughs> Come on. I want to get some fresh air. I'll see you in five minutes, OK? I love you guys. Love you too, Dad. <laughs> I love every one of you. I want everybody to know that I'm here for everybody, anytime. We're all here for you too. We're all gonna make an effort to make this better. It's gonna help it pick up. I hope so. In order to make it work. With Sam and his children coming to an understanding, right, let's go. Chef Ramsay can now begin to work on one of the other major problems of Sam's kebab room. Fresh, every time. The food. I'm going to make delicious shrimp and chicken kebabs done with freshness. When we're cooking kebabs, why don't we cook them on the skewer? It's so much more juicier, yeah? More flavor. Because when you're squeezing hell out of the food and you're pushing down, what do you think that's doing to the food? Getting all the juice out of it. Taking yes. all the juice out of there, exactly that. Cooking on the skewer gives us so much more control, much easier. And then, watching you all last night, have you any idea how many times you cross over each other? Right. We're going to have one person manning the grill, not four of you. Who's the best grill chef in here? Me. OK. You're going to be at the helm as it cooks. And I want you going over there and glazing that. Chef Ramsay opened my eyes to cook the right way. I was very happy to watch him because I want to learn more what I know. Your grill should be like a chessboard where you're manipulating all the time up and down. They come off, glaze them again. Cooking next to Chef Ramsay in one afternoon, I've learned more than I've ever had. How does it look? Amazing. It look beautiful. beautiful. Very good. Now, we're not at an art gallery. Jump in and start tasting. Come on. Sam, dive in. <laughs> this looks like Malaysian food. Chicken tastes really good. Yeah. That shrimp was, that shrimp was bomb. <laughs> Everybody was happy, and the food tastes delicious. Really, it tastes good. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen this for a long time, so I'm going to grab it now while I can. Quick smile, please. <laughs> Everybody look at me. <laughs> smile. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Believe it or not, I'm ready right now to move forward. No more fighting, no more arguing. <laughs> While Chef Ramsay's plan to fix the food is now in motion, his team gets started on a massive overhaul of the restaurant. First of all, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> okay. good morning. Good morning, Chef. How does it smell in here? Amazing. Amazing. It's beautiful. Amazing. Wait until you see it. Come on, let us see. O M G. <laughs> okay, take off those blindfolds. Oh my God. Wow. Whoa. 
Welcome to the new Sam's. Look at this gorgeous room. Oh, oh my God. This is the place. This is a place unbelievable. Let me tell you something really important. This has been one of the biggest and most expensive transformations we've ever made. Ever! Wow. This... It looks like it. Wow. We got rid of that dark, dingy hole and transformed it into a casual, modern kebab house. Beautiful. Something to be proud of. Oh, my God. That's a color restaurant. Beautiful. Wow. The restaurant feels more open. Wow. A brand new carpet throughout. The salmon color dirty walls have gone, and we've got this charcoal color set with these amazing art blocks. It brightens up the restaurant dramatically and gives it that nice modern touch. It's beautiful. Tell. When I first stepped in this door, sitting down in the chair, I noticed a huge hole. Then when I looked around, there was holes in every chair. They've gone. Look at those babies. Brand new chairs. I see you got the chills, yeah. man. I know, me too. I see you got the chills. Sam, talk to me. I love it, man. You I love it? love it. It looks so gorgeous. They make me feel like I am in the heaven. Hey, Sam, how do you feel? Um, I'm in speechless. You're this speechless? Amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Ramsey. I don't know how I'm going to thank you. I appreciate that from the heart. Thank you, Sam. I know you mean that. I never thought my dad would ever be open to change. I'd see a new man. Let me give you a hug before you go. Let's go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. We've got a lot of work to do tonight. Oh, my dad. He doesn't hug anyone. He doesn't even hug my mom. I like to see that smile on your face. I love you, man. I love you. I want to put the blindfold back on. I don't believe it's real. I don't believe it's real. Now that the much-needed makeover to Sam's kebab room has taken place... Let's go, Sam. Oh, my God. Chef Ramsay is ready to unveil a contemporary Mediterranean menu. Visually, what do you see? It's beautiful. It looks delicious. That is sure to have the town of Monrovia buzzing. Dig in. Come on. Jump in, man. This is good. Amazing. Classically done. Absolutely delicious. I love the falafel. This is the kind of food we should have been serving here. I don't think I've ever been this excited or happy to come to work. This is how you make lunch. Uh, we do that in the house all the time. The food is amazing. I never thought in my life I'm going to have a restaurant like this today. Believe it or not, better than in Lebanon. Oh, yeah. Better than the whole Middle East. With the restaurant and family ready to face a new chapter. I sure it doesn't get too thick. Chef Ramsay is happy to spend the day training and working in the kitchen. Okay. What I want you to do is work with two hands, not with one. Twice as quick. I'll okay. you try over there. Plate, plate. Nice. See what happens when you're organized? OK. Again, you are now in control. Table 12, fire. Keep it going, yes? Here's another chicken. The customers are raving about the transformations made to the decor and food. Oh, my god, it's not brown anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. That's really good. But the biggest transformation might just be the family themselves. Let's go, Abdul. We got this. Let's go. Perfect. 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 One, two, three, four. Table ten. They're working together, united, as a team in support of their father, Sam. Here's the plate. You got two behind you. Sign it up behind you. Put two pictures on there. Everybody's just more calm. It's just more of a family now. This is your table Thank 15. You. Thank you. Can I have a ketchup, please? Good. Teamwork. I'm very happy working in a restaurant like this. You know, before, I didn't want to be here. But now I'm going to keep going strong until we can actually hire somebody to take my place for the long run. And not surprisingly, there's someone else besides the family who has a smile on his face. I am so proud of you all. Thank you. Well You've got everything you need to make this restaurant a success. And when you come together, it's harmony. Oh. Big group hug. Let's put mom and dad in the middle. I never see my family happy like now. Before Chef Ramsey come in here, they fighting all the time together. But everything has changed right now, and I hope it stay like that for the future. It's mom and dad. Open it. Oh my God! <laughs> That's the moment I knew we had turned things around. Every time you think of falling out, go to that picture and remind yourselves the importance of sticking together. Yes. OK? Thank you. Thank you, bud. Look after yourself, yeah. yes? Yeah. OK? I wish I'd see you again. Uh, you'll definitely see me again. Good night, guys. Thank you. OK. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Take care, guys. Come back, please! <laughs> when I first arrived, there was so much tension in the air, we were bound to have an explosion. As a matter of fact, 
we had a few. But once the air cleared, the family finally came together and we had a good, and I mean good, relaunch. Only hope now that Sam stays in complete control of his restaurant, but not his children. Wow, you say kebab, and I say kebab. After several successful months, Table five, fired. Paul Lina. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. Wow. It's delicious. Sam is now able to give his children some time off. And for the first time in years, Sam's kebab room is hiring. <laughs> <laughs>